Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And the superstar of today's hands-on video is the new Moza Streamliner Center Seconds. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck. Now we do have uh, the Streamliner Center Seconds. It's a free hands watch as you see and the watch features a beautiful matrix green fumé dial. And um, I do by purpose say this matrix green fumé dial because what you are going to see in this video this time is lots of different shots I've been filming from the watch. Before we really start and I explain you the watch a little bit, have a look on some of the first pictures of the dial of this beautiful Moza watch. It's, it's fascinating, look. Look how the colors and look how the, the dial is changing. It's not always the same green. You have reflections, no reflections, and you can clearly see that there is an outside of the dial being a little bit darker, getting more to the center of the dial. It's a lighter green. You have a sunburst effect. And depending on the lights, either it is uh, artificial or studio light, or if it is uh, clouds or sun, you clearly see that this Moza is a watch that deserves lots of light, literally, because you want to see those reflections and you want to ah, enjoy them once you wear the watch. What do you say? Not bad, huh? The new Streamliner Center Seconds, which follows the self-winding flyback chronograph that was launched in January 2020 and we were one of the first one to show it online. Um, you surely remember and if you don't, please, after watching this video, click on the link that you see now on your screen and you will get to the video we filmed and where Moza and together with Edouard Melan, the CEO, I presented you the self-finding flyback chronograph. It was in uh, December 2019. So let me play around with the watch a little bit in the camera and tell you something about Streamliner. Streamliner is a reference to the first high-speed trains uh, from the 20s and 30s whose rounded curves these models do reinterpret it. So this is what Moza says about its Streamliner collection and you will be able to discover these, um, these this design reinterpreting these rounded curves and there are lots of rounded curves on this watch. So it's really a very smooth and completely round watch. Not round, it's not a round watch, but everything feels very smooth since there are no sharp angles. And so it's really very, very comfortable to wear. So let me then start and explain. You, you are seeing a 40 millimeter watch, a 40 millimeter watch, a watch that has a thickness of uh, 9.9 millimeters excluding the dome, the glass. You see a dome, the glass. Uh, when I go over with my plastic pointer, you can see that there is a domed glass here. So excluding the glass, 9.9 millimeters. The lug to lug distance is a little bit difficult to uh, figure out because there are no lugs. Because you can clearly see that the bracelet directly is integrated into the form of uh, the case. So expect, uh, yes, some approximately also 40 millimeters here or um, yeah, there are no lugs. So I can't give you a lug to lug distance this time. But uh, we are talking about a round watch and we do have 40 millimeters diameter here, 40 millimeters. So you can approximately estimate that we are talking about also 40 millimeters here. Since, uh, as I just said, the bracelet immediately starts, is part of the design and part of uh, the case design. The bracelet immediately starts, so the watch perfectly 
fits on your wrist and there is nothing like a lug here. So for those of you probably not being really satisfied with what I said before in terms of uh, lug to lug distance, yes, of course, there is no lug to lug distance, but I just thought um, and said to myself, let's uh, still measure it. So I've just been uh, measuring it and the distance uh, from here to here is about 37 millimeters. But you have to take under consideration that, of course, there is a still a little bit left here if you look on top but because it's a round case so there's still a little bit left and if you add these uh, few millimeters probably what will then sit on uh, your wrist uh, if you look here uh, taking uh, yes those 37 plus uh, some uh, one or two millimeters left right we will probably uh, yeah, some 40 millimeters, 41 millimeters or something like this uh, are, is the dimension you are probably uh, want, uh, you want to know uh, you are looking for. Maybe some of you uh, watching the first pictures of uh, the bracelet um, say, hey, I have seen this design before. <clears throat> Where did I see this design? Um, I can tell you. Um, at least this is what came in my mind and what I also said in the video from the Streamliner Chronograph. Yes, Abel, uh, the famous brand Abel, I think gave some inspirations to the designers of Moza. Why not? Abel was by far, by far, manufacturing the very, very best bracelets of the industry. There was no other bracelet and I think it's with that Moser bracelet you see right now here. It's uh, something like a uh, Able um, Reloaded or Able 2.0 bracelet, something like this. It's absolutely smooth. It is, can you see this? It's really moving perfectly. And this possibility of being so flexible gives it the possibility to perfectly uh, sit on your arm or wrist. There you go. Some forms of the watches from this side, of course. From this side with the crown, we do have a big M for Mosa. Here, nice M engraved on the crown. It's a screw down crown, yes. And uh, very nice, 120 meters waterproof. So 12 bar. A screw down crown. I'm opening it right now, pulling it out. You can see the second hand stops to perfectly be able to be adjusted once uh, you're doing this. And you can see I'm moving the hands. Yes, you can see very smoothly everything. And I again will position the hand here for a purpose because um, the hour and minute hands do have a global light. Oh, global light. That's something uh, Moser has patented. Global light inserts. And this is an innovative ceramic based material which contains Super Luminova. Global light, ceramic plus Super Luminova makes global light. Sounds a little bit like uh, global news from Brazil, uh, let's dance, <laughs> or something like this. Very nice, but look, I want to show you something. The minute hand is curved, look. Can you see this? I'm pointing out for you, can you see here? Yes, you see it. Uh, there I go, I have to point, Do you see here? The minute hand is a little bit curved, so perfectly adapts around on the minute three. Yes, now you see it clearly. Of course, also the second hand is a little bit curved. Look, I'm pointing out here. Can you see this? I will point. Yes, it's already visible, but look here. You see? Curved. So really following the design the geometry of the dial and this really makes the difference. These are all those little details that end of the day make a Mosa. Have a look at the minute three of the watch. 
this is the minuterie. You see here the minuterie, that's the part where the seconds and the minutes are indicated. In French on a watch we say la minuterie and it is beautiful. You see this? All the little dots. Even better. The closer I get to the camera, I'm trying to bring it to you as good as I can without having the reflections of my light, of course, but there you see. All the combination makes a very, very, very beautiful dial. Once again, Matrix Green Fumé. Matrix Green Fumé dial. Turning the watch around, what you see is the Moza in-house automatic movement called HMC Ash Moser and Company 200. It's a self-winding automatic movement. You see the gold rotor here, 18 karat gold rotor. You see the balance wheel here, the balance wheel oscillating at 3 hertz, so 21,600 semi-oscillations per hour, 3 hertz. And also good to know is that uh, Moza is, of course, using its own in-house manufactured hairsprings and it's an original Straumann hairspring done by Precision Engineering. That's Moser's own manufacturer of hairsprings. And Moser is also a supplying the industry with hairsprings. So it's not only for their proper use, but they're also providing hairsprings, for instance, to Max Büssen, friends and others. So these hairsprings are from a really top quality and done, of course, specifically for the movement, for the HM, HMC200. So, guess what? How many power reserve do we expect? Yes, 72 hours or three days, at least, that's a guaranteed. And yeah, on the surface, we do have some uh, Moser stripes and a haute horlogerie finishing, of course, no doubt, absolutely no doubt. You see here and enjoy the pictures of the movement. And I, as I just said, yes, this is a 18 karat gold rotor and you can clearly see here, as I just said before, H. Moza and company being engraved on it. This Matrix Green Fume dial. I have to repeat the name once again because I, I simply love it. Matrix Green Fume dial. That's really a creative name for a dial. I want to start with some pictures um, uh, you see here right away for a second round of pictures we have been putting together for you of the dial. There you go. Enjoy them, please. So, can I adjust the length of uh, the bracelet? Unfortunately not. This is a folding clasp. You can see it clearly. This is the folding clasp that closes attention. You have a click and you have this double security. You have, if you're only pressing on one side, the Folding clasp will not open, so you need to really press simultaneously on both of those and then you see it opens. But there is no adjustable, um, yeah, there's no function to adjust the length. And this is really the only little thing that is a flaw in my uh, personal opinion. I would have liked to see uh, any form of clasp here um, that would probably uh, have such a feature or a kind of a construction that uh, starts here in the bracelet uh, where you can uh, quickly uh, adjust uh, the length if you need to do so, but there is none. And uh, yes, if you need uh, to do adjustments, there are pins, pins here. You can clearly see them here and you can, uh, using a hammer and a tooling, 
get them out, then it's easy to exchange or put out one of the links or put in one of the links uh, to adjust the length, but there is no quick adjustment. Uh, this folding clasp does not offer it. That really looks like if it was custom made or tailored, round tailor made and really perfectly fitting around my wrist. It's not at all thick. It's 40 millimeters on my 17 centimeter wrist. Can you see those links? There's a little space in between them. So this gives the links the possibility to really literally absorb the form of your wrist, of your hand, of your arm, and then to adapt perfectly to make the watch sit there, fit there perfectly. And this is the dial. Looks different in its cloudy, have cloudy conditions out here. This is how the dial looks. You can see the color from dark green to a lighter green. Um, finally, I've been able to show you the Mosa in uh, sunlight. We had some cloudy conditions yesterday, but today the sun is out again. And uh, I, I think this is the favorite part of that video now. Oh, look at this. The watch perfectly reflects with all the beauty of that dial the sun and look of look 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 these effects that the dial is producing that's really gorgeous can you see this so this is how the dial looks like when the sun directly comes on it and you get the full impression of that of the beauty of the new streamliner center seconds it will not get nicer than this that's absolutely, I would say, uh, yes, that's it. This is what you have wearing the Mosa on your wrist and playing around with it in the bright sun. So this is what you get. Couldn't be better. That is the bracelet. And with that invisible folding clasp, here you go. All sides filmed. Ooh, 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 beautiful, beautiful. Unless I have to say, okay, green is not my favorite color, but still, the effects, what you get. It could be orange, it could be blue, it could be red, even yellow. I can imagine lots of colors, but the idea of having the same type of dial um, in different colors playing all these reflections, giving you all these different angles, views of the dial. Just the idea is fantastic. Yes, green is going to be, I'm now more than ever convinced, uh, going, it's going to be one of the next trendy colors, I think, of dials. It really looks like that we are, um, yeah, that we, I can say, okay, green is uh, the new blue, and before that, blue was the new black, so kind of this, uh, yeah. Could also be nice in brown, well, why not? In a nice uh, chocolate tone. For me, the favorite color, in fact, would be blue. I would say I would want to have this Mosa in with blue dial. Yes, and then playing all these effects look. Okay, I hope you get an impression of what you have when you're wearing the Mosa. So, a very good size, I would say, a very nice watch, not too thick, and a very rare watch very very rare that's also uh, what Mosa is using in its uh, advertising uh, rare in terms that Mosa per month is producing some 15 to 20 of those stream aligner center seconds so 15 to 20 per month are being handmade i would say Compl they are completely handmade of course everything is uh, where machines are necessary machines are used but they are completely assembled by hand and uh, i also learned that in the very beginning when they launched the watch and uh, this was in august this year uh, there was a waiting time of about eight weeks to get one so and now the price yes the price is nineteen thousand euro uh 19,900 Swiss francs 
including both currencies euro and swiss franc of course including vat 19000 euro and 19900 swiss francs and 21900 us dollars excluding those different city sales and etc taxes so this is what it is uh, a very exclusive company a very exclusive watch to say moza in a total uh, per year is man not manufacturing more than 1500 watches so it's absolutely a luxurious company um, manufacturer of own movements cases styles etc etc you can see me playing all the time around with the sunburst effect of the dial <laughs> and yes H Moser located close to Schaffhausen in Switzerland and this is both close to the German border okay thank you very very much for watching the video last time I have to say it matrix green fume dial I love the name. Thanks for watching. Give me your feedback in the comment section. Ask me questions if you have some. And thanks for watching this video. And uh, yeah, I'm happy if we meet back again very soon here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Bye bye for today.